let's now try to solve trinomial still by factoring so the first step in solving quadratic equation by factoring is to make it standard form but i think in this given we need to skip that because it's already in standard form ang kasunod na gagawin natin ay to factor it completely since trinomial to we're going to create two quantity or quantities then equal to zero then put m the next is to identify the two numbers that we need to input here kung mapapansin natin ang middle term ay 8m and ang ating last term ay negative 48 ang sum nyan ay 8 and then ang product ay negative 48 so ano kaya yung dalawang number na kapag pinag-add mo ay 8 kapag pinag-multiply mo ay negative 48 the answer is we have positive 12 and then negative 4 because if we're going to add 12 and negative 4 we're going to produce 8 and if we're going to multiply 12 and negative 4 we will produce negative 48 and then the last part of the solving is to equate it to 0 or to solve so maglagay tayo ng division so para mapaghiwalay natin yung dalawang term so we have m plus 8 or m plus 12 rather and m minus 4 then equate them both to 0 then pwede na tayong mag solve here we need to subtract that by 12 do it to the left do it to the right so tanggalin na natin yung 0 and then direct na natin yung negative 12 cancel dahil 0 na yan then we have m is equal to negative 12. So the first value of our variable is negative 12. The next one is negative 4. So to cancel 4, we have to add 4. Add 4 on the left side and then add 4 on the right side. So we have 4 here. Cancel negative 4 plus 4. We have m is equal to 4. The final answers are m is equal to negative 12 or m is equal to 4. This will be the last example for this topic. 11r plus 15 is equal to negative 2r squared. Well, this given is not yet in standard form. So we cannot skip the first step. So we're going to do it. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang negative 2r squared ay nasa kanang part. So, ang gagawin natin, we're going to remove negative 2r squared or we need to make this 0. Kasi if you still remember the condition that we need to meet for it to be standard form is the right side must be equal to 0. So, gawin muna natin siyang 0. So, we can do that by adding 2r squared. So, 11r plus 15. And then, idiretso na natin, do it to the left, do it to the right, plus 2r squared is equal to negative 2r squared plus 2r squared. So, nag-add tayo ng 2r squared. So, nag-add tayo ng 2r squared. So, we can cancel this out. So, the new equation will be 11r plus 15 plus 2r squared is equal to 0. Still not yet in standard form. Dahil hindi pa naka-descending order yung ating left side. So, dapat yung degree ng kada term sa left side ay naka-arrange from highest to lowest. So, i-arrange muna natin. We have 2r squared. 
plus 11R plus 15 equal to 0. So we can start with our next step which is to factor. So by factoring, kung mapapansin nyo again, ang ating quadratic term or yung numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term ay greater than 1. So hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung tinuro ko before na ito yung sum and then ito yung product. We're going to do trial and error. We're going to factor first 2R squared and then factor 15. And then, tingnan natin kung yung middle term later on ay makukuha natin. So, ano kaya yung mga possible na factor for this quadratic equation? So, mag-try muna tayo. So, we're going to create two quantities. And then, ang factor ng 2R squared. So, we have 2R and r ang factor ng 15 so we have positive 3 and then positive 5 well actually ang factor ng 15 pwede rin namang negative 5 and negative 3 but I think it will be impossible na magkaroon ng negative 5 at negative 3 dahil ang middle term natin ay positive and lahat ng term dito ay positive so we cannot produce negative here so puro positive lang yung gagamitin natin ngayon try natin mag produce pa ng another um, pattern or combination out of these terms pwede natin gawing 2r plus 5 so, pagbalik na rin naman natin, and then, we have r plus 3. So, maaring ito yung mga pwedeng maging sagot. I-try natin, i-foil method, itong 2r plus 3, and then yung r plus 5. 2r plus 3, and then r plus 5 equal to 0. 2r times r, we have 2r squared. 2r times 5, that will be 10r. 3 times r, that will be 3r. And 3 times 5, that will be 15 equal to 0. And hindi natin na meet yung middle term hindi pareho kapag sinimplify natin yan it will become 13r plus 15 therefore yung una nating ginawang factor ay mali now try naman natin yung pangalawang pattern na ginawa natin we have 2r plus 5 times r plus 3 equal to 0. Actually, ang technique dito, kahit hindi nyo na isolve yung um, first and last sa FOIL method, kasi alam naman natin na yung first at saka last ay pareho lang. 2r squared at saka 15 lang yan. So, 2r times r is 2r squared and then 5 times 3 is 15. So, pareho lang. Kaya, ang itutry na lang natin ngayon ay kunin yung inner at yung outer. So, isolve natin. So, 2R times 3, that will be 6R. And then, 5 times R, that will be 5R. And, ilagay na natin yung 2R squared plus 15 equal to 0. And, I think, ito yung tamang sagot. 2R squared, 6R plus 5R, that will be 11R. So, tama na 11R. Plus 15 equal to 0. Therefore, ito ang tamang factor. So, we have 2R plus 5 times R plus 3. 
we are done with our second step. Okay, we have 2r plus 5 times r plus 3. Ito yung tamang factor nitong quadratic equation. We can now proceed to our third step which is to solve or to equate to 0. Again, paghiwalayin lang natin silang dalawa. We have 2r plus 5 equal to 0. And then r plus 3 equal to 0. Ngayon, here in our first equation, dalawa yung number na kailangan nating i-remove. Gagamitin natin yung tip na sinabi ko sa inyo before, na the farthest number from the variable should be removed first. So which is yung 5 muna, and then after that, yung 2 naman ang i-remove natin. So we can remove that by subtracting 5 both sides. And then negative 5. Again, dinerecho ko na lang ulit siya. So, negative 5. After that, we can cancel that. We only have 2r is equal to negative 5. And, to cancel 2, we're going to divide that by 2. And then, of course, the other side should be divided also by 2. Cancel 2. So, allow na yung variable natin, r is equal to negative 5 over 2. This will be our final answer. Next is r plus 3. So, madali lang naman to. We're going to subtract 3 both sides. It's equal to negative 3. Cancel 3 minus 3. r is equal to negative 3. Therefore, so if we're going to solve this, 11r plus 15 is equal to negative 2r squared, we will have r is equal to negative 5 over 2 or r is equal to negative 3. So that's it for our topic about solving quadratic equation by factoring. Thank you so much for watching.